Hi, my name is Zary Franz and I will show you today how to animate video effects in VideoPad. Ok, this is our bee and I want to make her to fly over those flowers. This is our VideoPad project and I already dropped image of the bee and video of the flowers of the field. Ok, let's drag and drop our video and our clip to the timeline. Video first and image has to be on the top, picture has to be in front. Let's change the duration of our image, extend it to do the same duration like duration of our video. Ok, now our image. I will click on this point and drag to the center. Like that I will change the size, the scale of our image. The B will become smaller. And now I will click on it and drag and drop it to this point effects video effects you see it's already open our video effect motion because we changed the scale of our image and moved it changed horizontal and vertical position ok now uh, what I want to do. Here you can see the effect animation editor. If you cannot see it, just click on this button and it will be visible. And there is timeline, the same like here, the same like here. It's 56 seconds. And when you are moving slider, this slider and this slider are moving the same way. I would like at the very beginning our B to stay here for a few seconds. Then something like in five seconds you can see here the time. I will click on keyframes button. The B will start moving. I am clicking on the B and moving the picture. You see, after using the video effect, very often the images becoming not visible for a few seconds for some time in my computer. I think this is because of computer. Maybe it's not <laughs> strong enough. But you have to wait for a little bit time and everything will be okay. Okay, now we moved our B. We will move our cursor click on it, hold and drag and add new keyframes <laughs> now we have to wait again but anyway you see here the frame so you can move it if you have no time for waiting our B is here ok the next I would like B to go something like down a little bit we are moving our cursor to this position and add keyframes. What, uh, by the way, what do those position means? It means that starting from 20 second, or 18th actually second, until 28 second, our B will be moving from this previous position to the new one. All actually the changes will occur. The next thing is I would like the B to change to change its position like to rotate it. So I will use the rotation a little bit. Move slider to the right. Mm -hmm. Like that. Uh -huh, it's rotate. Now move our cursor until 40 seconds and add new keyframes. And then I want the B, for example, to become bigger, to change the scale. 
move a little bit to the right move the cursor yeah it will grow until 49 seconds at frames and then let it fly somewhere like this way I realized when you're starting moving the cursor the image like appears faster <laughs> okay so click on the B and drag it somewhere like over there drag the cursor and add new keyframes okay now just close the effect window go to menu file export video if it's very important project you can save it before create and wait again okay everything is done let's go and see what we did and the video And now it can have to move here. Mm -hmm. I think it works. So thank you for staying with me and hope to see you soon. Bye.